One minute, y'all are fucked. <laughs> we don't have 30 time seconds. to argue about this. There's only one solution. Clover, you're going to have to go vote for us. What? Huh? What does that mean? What, did I use big words? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that... Wow, now that we know that it's probably Santa, it's really obvious. Yeah. Because it's exactly how he spoke. Because he's kind of a prick. It means this. Is he just, did he just knock him out or something? I've never seen someone move that fast before, let alone someone as old as Tenmyoji. Did he just soap a real Dio? I think he just like cold cocked Dio in the face. In the blink of an eye, he covered the few feet between himself and Dio and slammed a closed fist into the other man's chest. Yay! Fuck Dio! Tenmyoji hero MVP. Oh my god. What if the bombs blow up? <laughs> Dio fell to his knees, wheezing for air. Temioji waited half a second to make sure he was down, then turned to look at Clover. He's not gonna stay down forever. Get out of here, Clover. B but You and Kay are in the same position now. I've only got one BP, just like Alice. Interesting. So long as Tenmyoji doesn't vote, Clover's only choice is to choose Ally. Hmm. Admittedly, there is a chance she might kill me. Are you saying you trust me with your life? He does. He's trying to because he's Santa. <laughs> this, how, would be a, this, how, would, this would work. This would be a way more confusing timeline if we hadn't like set that up now. What if? But now it's like, like ooh, character motivation. How can you like not? Narrative. How do you compel yourself to not say that? Who he is? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why he won't just tell her. Like, why won't you just be like, Hey, it's me, Santa. Yo, Please don't murder me. It's me. Remember 999? It was not that long ago. Hey, I have all this information that I could only have if I was Santa. <laughs> Remember all of our shared experience that only we had together and no one else witnessed? <laughs> Wait, does that mean San Mayochi can use morphogenetic fields? Maybe. I think this is he I aware of the full timelines? Is that why he knocked Dio out? It's hard to tell because they might have. I can't tell what's going on with morphogenic fields. They're really annoying about it. Yeah. In the first game, it seems like the only person who succeeds in the entire game at morphogenic fields are June and Junpei. Well, I thought Clover and in... in the first game, Snake. It seems like neither of them do it in the first game. They might Clover and Snake might have done it in the in the off camera children's one. Okay. But I don't think they ever do it in 999. Meanwhile, in this one, Phi and Sigma seem to be able to do morphogenic fields. Because Phi clearly talks to us about knowledge from other timelines, and also we do. Yeah. And they're like, oh, you forgot it, and crap like that. But How does that work? But we do don't you... know if anyone else in this timeline does. They also uh. mentioned at one point that if someone's really strong with the morphogenic fields, they might, like, damper everyone else. Oh, right. So that might be why they only sometimes do it. So maybe... Maybe Santa doesn't have access? That's about the size of it. What the hell are you standing around for? Get! You don't need to worry about Alice. I'll keep a good eye on her, I promise. Now get moving! And by good, keep a good eye on her, I mean I'm gonna stab her in the neck if, you, if I feel these needles go into me. <laughs> <laughs> you still don't trust me. N no, that's not it at all. I trust you, I just... Three minutes. Come Go on! Uh, at, so at this point, hasn't... Hasn't Dio been, like, like, like knocked out of wind, like, for two minutes now? Yeah. And he, he, I feel like he would have recovered by now. He would have recovered like, by now. Like, this time... I've had work. the wind knocked out of me, I would have been fine. Yeah. I used to fall downstairs. I used to fall downstairs? <laughs> well, it's more like I used to fall on my ass on a step. And oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. You never had it go that way? You felt like ass first onto a step? Yeah. And that knocked the wind out of you? Yeah. N no. You never had that happen before? No, the way I lost the wind out of me was I was on one of those bar chairs that had a back like this, but it had, it was like a, it was a bar stool, but on the back of it was like one of the dining room seats. Yeah. And I was standing on it. I spun it around like an idiot. And then I lost my footing and the, like one of the, poles from the dining room table thing stabbed me right in the side. This is way too complicated. And I basically I, like my lips were blue and I couldn't breathe for like about a couple of minutes. Jesus. And that was uh, that was like... I've never had the suffocating experience. Well that's I, the wind getting knocked out of you I thought. I just, well I, I just slipped and I landed on my butt and then I went <gasps> like like you lose the air. And 
Like you just lose the air, but like I came back with not like I'm. It didn't like sit, I didn't sit there and wait until I was like dying. Like, oh. I, re I recovered relatively quickly. I mean, I just kind of had to like. But it definitely had that experience. It's kind of an unforgettable experience when you just lose the air. All yeah. Of a sudden. When you become airless as a creature. Because your diaphragm just says, what if we drained it? <laughs> and you're like, no, that was the right response. <laughs> That's the opposite. Okay. Take oh, it's ladies house. night. She'll be fine. Is somebody like sitting on Dio or what? <laughs> like, I think Temioji's just stepping on his throat. <laughs> that seemed to finally satisfy her and we were off. That's what he said. <laughs> oh. We ran as fast as we could, leaping through doors and tearing through rooms on our way back to the warehouse. We could not have waited longer, by the way. What? We spent, like, seven minutes discussing the AB room after the ten minute notification happened. Yeah. Holy shit. They could really run out of clock in this game. No, 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 no. You don't stop. You just keep going. They're not stopping. It's just the, that's how the map works. Oh, right. That's just the only way they render the map. Everybody ready? Yeah. You've all got the moon card, right? Yes, we do. Good. Then let's go. Who are we voting this with? Four AB gates yawned open and as we swiped our cards. Uh, we were in the room with Luna and Fi. Right. So are we against Fi or Luna? Don't remember. The fifth one, the one Dio had opened, stayed empty. We'll have a reminder soon. The sixth, which would have been Alice's, remained unopened. Clay and, Clo uh, Kay and Clover quickly entered the second and third from the right, and Luna and I headed toward our own. So we're, it's us against Fi. Okay. Hold on a minute. I don't feel bad about betraying her. What is it? You're going to choose Ally, right? Mm, yeah, why do you ask? Of course we are. You promise? We wouldn't betray Luna. Uh, sure. We've already had the experience of Luna being disappointed in us. Yeah, we won't betray I mean, we Luna. Will, I mean, we will do that timeline too, but, you know, not first. I thought we already did that. I promise. We, that was a different timeline. Oh. We've had multiple chances to betray while Luna's watching, and also to betray Luna. Cross your heart. I mean, cross my heart. I, mean, I don't hope to die. You're going to be in a world of hurt if you double cross me. Are you gonna die? What's her number? I don't know. Don't sweat it. I'm a man of my word. I wouldn't say that because we have to make the choice to betray her at some point. Five frown then, but said nothing and disappeared into her own AV room. The second from the left. Where she betrays us. Luna and I nodded to one another and headed for the last one. The leftmost room. She probably does betray us. Let's find out. Skip. I'll die to impress Luna. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna die, are we? What's our number? What? We betrayed Alice, so we can't have a one. one I don't know what our number is, but it's not a one. What are you going to do? Mm. Well, I don't have a choice, do I? I promised. I said I'd choose Ally. Yes, but Fi has six BP. If she, oh, she what? Us... Yeah, she'll have nine points, I know. Right. What do you think we should do, Luna? It's your decision, Sigma. God damn it. I'll be in the same position either way. What? What? You have six BP too, don't you? That means if we betray Phi and she chooses ally... Then I would have nine points. Yes! yes finally! <laughs> well, that never works, though. And we can't escape, we can't escape with Luna anyway. She has no, five. that's not okay! She, has, wait, she only has five. We can stay. We can wait. Yeah, that's yeah. why we had to pick Ally tw twice. Then everyone gets to leave except for the shitty people like Alice. <laughs> just leave, just leave Alice. <laughs> you see? In either case, I could end up with someone in my group reaching their goal. Twenty seconds remain. Shit! It's an odd number. That's it. We don't have any time left. Normally it's you ten. Have to make a choice. Yeah, they never announced they have never announced twenty seconds before. Are you sure this is okay with you? Yes. Alright. I turn to face the machine. The only way that she gets what she needs is if both people pick ally. So she just has, she just has to hope that we both do that. 
Well, good thing you hoped right, because I would never let you down, girl. I need to bring Until the next time, Lion. I need to bring it. <laughs> no. Eight, seven, this is me button mashing. Can All you can do is make the let letter show up slightly faster. Five, four, but this voice acting doesn't go faster. Come on, come on. This is impossible. Yeah, is he's it? like trying to rack the decision in his brain right now. He needs to stop waiting for literally the last second. What if he slips? <laughs> he just misses. What? He just slaps his hand on the thing and hopes one of them Yeah, I guess we never get the option to just wait it out, do we? No. We always have to pick. Round two of the Ambidex game has been completed. Has it? When? Sigma's never just missed- now? Sigma has never missed a room, huh? No. Yeah, he's always there to vote. We Results almost- we almost missed a room because we were like- we, we were being stubborn. Remember? Oh yeah. We're, like, we're not gonna go in the room, you people are gonna die! And then- That wasn't the AB room, that no. was me not- us not going in a white room. Yeah. And we did die. We didn't die. We died. No, I thought Kay punched us in the gut and threw us into the room. Yeah, but in the other timeline we died. That's when we that's when we found Kay's in identity, is when we just stood there and died when we could have gone. Right. Because Sigma's a jackass. Right. Yep. Luna I stepped out of our AB room a little a little later than the others. They were already gathered in front of the projection awaiting the announcement announcement of the results. You chose Ally, right? Are you sure that was okay? Yeah. What else was I gonna do? I promised. It'll be fine, I'm sure if I chose Ally too. She Let's didn't find out. Come on, what's with you? Do you not trust Fi? That's not what I mean. It's just... Oh, I'm not being accusatory. I don't trust her. I mean, I'm just trying to get a confirmation that my trust is not placed well. Oh, well, let's go have a look, shall we? Why are we even talking about this? We'll know what happened in just a few seconds. Right. Let's go. What do you think is going to happen? She betrayed us. Results from round two. Cause she's literally scum. Like, I mean, fight us usually suck. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And son of yeah. a bitch. Fuck, tackle her. She's small. <laughs> Just tackle her. Seriously. Seriously. Just tackle her. She's really small. Points happy. Everyone else is at eight, you motherfucker. Hey! What the hell is this? Why did you choose Betray? I thought we promised. Me? I don't remember that. Don't do this shit. Shot through this the heart! Bullshit. And you're too late! That's not verbatim what I said, says person after vote every fucking vote. It's impressive that literally everyone goes for the same gimmick, which is like, yeah. no, I made you promise, Sigma. But what I did like, was morally okay because I tricked you. And then when you, and, and <laughs> like then, that makes up for it. And then when you betrayed, they're like, you promised. No, you didn't promise. I promised. <sighs> like, you can use the same logic on them. It's like, God no, I promised that I would vote. I didn't promise I would vote ally. Well, at least no one died, but she's going to run away probably. She's going to run away. Unless we tackle her right now. What? Get her, Kay. You promised You're heavy. me. You said you'd choose ally, but I don't recall promising you anything. Wow. I was free to choose whatever I wanted. Wow. Punch her in the face. Hold Punch on. Punch her in the face. There's no rules against violence in this game. You should have seen this coming. I told you I'd make you pay. And now I am. For what? Make us pay. What? When did you say that? Did we ever betray her? Did we ever betray her? No, we no, because we've only had one option, which was betray Alice, and then we betrayed. Because well, she, she's on your team the first time, right? Yeah. Because she's on our first. Yeah, she's on our team the first time, and we and we, so it doesn't matter. And then the second time, we never betrayed her. We betrayed Alice when we're when she's either on. Our oh team wait, wait. Or she wasn't even around. Wait, is she saying she'll make us pay for the boob comment? <laughs> If is she this... gonna make us pay for oh, the look, boob comment? Also, this is apparently a lock, yeah. Ah. Is she gonna make us pay for the, like, the cup size comment we, we made? Uh, that's the only thing we've done to her. Because <laughs> I think that was this timeline. Also, that's real fucking petty. That's You're gonna kill petty. literally everyone Every here? Every time I interact with, the, with, the, with Fi, I like her less. I don't, I don't think there's a single likable character besides Luna. Uh, yeah. Everyone else is kind of a dick. Quark doesn't really do anything, ever. Yeah, he is. He's a dick, what? too. 
Because he's fucking knocked well, out Clark, half the Clark game. benefits from betraying us. And then it's like, here's a story about why it's actually okay. I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You just look at the letter, you're like, no, it's not. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. <laughs> what? I don't care about root beer floats. Yeah. Huh? I had absolutely no idea what she was talking about. Is it different? Is she mad about a different timeline? I and think not she realizing is, yeah. It? You reap what you sow. This is your fault. You chose betray first. So she's been in the morphogenic field. She's witnessed us betraying her in the other timeline that we haven't actually played yet for ourselves. What? And so that's why she's betraying us for, for betraying her. What? So now when we betray her in the next timeline, she's going to say that, she, that she'll make us pay. Which means in that timeline, she's going to pick ally. And that out in that time when she's gonna pick Ally and we're gonna pick Betray and she's gonna claim and she's gonna claim that she's gonna get revenge on us. But then we have nine. Yeah. So it don't matter because you dead now, bitch. No, she won't be dead. Well, yeah, because we'll we'll, just, we're yeah. gonna leave through the door. Yeah, but we won't. But she won't be dead yet necessarily. But yeah, like that's that's what's gonna happen. It's, that's the, the other timeline we betray her, and then she's like, what? What? First. Do you mean in round one? No, I mean the first round two. So she's looped two. Uh, have you lost it? Take a real good look at the results up there. This is round two. My vote was ally, yours was betray. And then we're gonna do round two, and we're gonna vote b b betray, and she's gonna vote ally, and we're and she's gonna like, why'd you do that? And we're gonna say, you did it first. <laughs> it's gonna be an infinite loop of us accusing each other. I didn't betray you. I never betrayed you. Yes, you have. Remember? Oh, don't lie to me, Sigma. What? Drop the act. There's no way you don't know by now. Know about what? What's happening to you? The strange things you've been seeing. Do you mean the... Premonitions? I wanted to say it, but... As the word formed itself in my mouth, I felt a tingle along the back of my neck. Someone was looking at me. That's not I, how- no one can do that, what? I turned around to see Luna, Clover, and Kay. What are the two of you talking about? It's nothing. Forget about it. I'm afraid it's not that simple. You were the only person who chose to betray this round. Is there some connection to what you and Sigma were discussing? Yes, there is a... connection. But you wouldn't believe me. You don't know that. Yeah, Clover Actually, literally Clover. knows that stuff. Yeah. Clover and Tenmyoji definitely already know that stuff. Because they've done this before. We might believe a lot. Fi looked away and scowled. For several long moments, her eyes stared off into the distance, and I could also see her mind working. Finally, she sighed and spoke. Right. Well, I've got nine points now. Punch her in the face. So sorry, but I'm out of here. Punch her in the face. Huh? What do you mean? Do I really have to explain it? I'm leaving. Through the number nine door. H hey! Wait! Are we really not gonna stop her at all? Everyone stopped us when we did this, what the fuck? I scrambled around in front of her and threw my arms out. You're in my way. Move. No! I'm not letting you go. What happened to you? I didn't think you were the kind of person who ditched the rest of us so you could get away. When someone betrays your trust, it feels like a part of you dies. For me, I guess it was the part that cared. I don't think you have even the slightest idea what that feels like. Betrays your... What are you saying? Whatever. Just get out of my way. No, I'm not moving. I see. Then you leave me no choice. See ya. <laughs> As she spoke, Fi bent down. What the fuck? Did she ju ju She just jumped? She shot up into the air and over my head. I spun around to see her standing next to the number nine door, her hand on the lever. So what? Fi, so Fi is an android, right? Fi is a cockney robot. She's fucking jump. Yeah, she just jumped in the air. She's clearly a robot. Yeah. You. Nice try. 
She grinned and tightened her grip on the lever. She has literally never grinned before. What the fuck? What the hell is that? It's Latin. Applaud. The play has ended. That's what it means. Latin. See you later. What a fucking nerd. alligator. <laughs> who the who would I would like I don't even care if you pull the lever. I would seriously punch you for telling me Latin before you kill all of us. <laughs> As you show off before it together. Yeah. Yeah. He was like, the play is over. Alright, Shakespeare, here's a fucking knuckle sandwich then. She's still like, so stoppable right now and she we're not is. trying. Wait, stop! A bolt of searing light roared through my brain. Ow. It, me too. When I came to, I was floating in a field of nothingness. <sighs> what? And then we teleported because Latin is a Latin teleportation. Spooky Latin teleport. Latin. Well, apparently that was a skull. Nope, it's a no, nope, it's, it's a lock. Yeah, it's a lock. All right, well, fine. Let's betray her and then be have her be mad that we betrayed. I can't wait. Is this gonna be the Sigma ending? Maybe, or the Luna ending, or the Phi ending, or the poop ending. Not, we don't have any of those three, right? I love the poop ending. What? Uh, those we are, don't have those, five. Those no. are like all the endings we're missing, right? We don't have yeah. Luna either. Well, it wouldn't be a Luna ending. Because we haven't minute. betrayed we're with, we're with Luna. Luna. We haven't betrayed her. Is that how it works? Do you I have mean, to betray people to get their ending? I mean, it's usually them the doing case. something. Bring, bring, bring. All right, let's do this. Bring, 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 Can't bring, wait for the chastising. Here it comes. Yep. For ten minutes. Oh boy, I'm so excited. Yeah, what we just read this, yeah. So you chose betray. How did you know? Did you do it to protect yourself? Were you worried that Fi might choose betray? How did you know? That's a good question. Huh? I'm honestly not sure myself why I did it. Well, we should go see the results. I'm glad we're making choices at random now, Dick. <laughs> yeah, right. See how K and Clover voted. What an, uh, what an explanation. Right. Let's go. Step, 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 step. Results from round lead. So she's going to pick ally. Watch. What? Fucking called it. Because this is the timeline she saw first. Yeah. Wait, so we're not in sync with each other? That's like ridiculous nope, and stupid. Nope, we're, we're doing, uh, we're doing uh, Doctor Who shit with the River Song. This would be... Out of sync with each other. This would be a lot better if you just didn't do this. Like, if you made it so that we would all be on consistent timelines, and then we both Well, find no, because the way that morphogenic fields work, all of these timelines are happening simultaneously. Well, yeah, but... Like, we, the player, the, experience we, them in an order, but the characters don't experience them in an order, which is why you can experience stuff from other timelines. Although that does not explain why we... Ha that doesn't explain why we have to unlock stuff in order. Yeah. Like, if you pick the right order that would take to use the true ending, you should just magically be able to solve it via getting visions from all the timelines you haven't even played. That's how... That, like, if that's how it works for Phi, that's how it should work for us. That's why I'm confused. It'd be way worse for the story, because we'd be like, what's this random vision of? Whatever. And then the game just ends, because we well, picked the right choice the yeah, first time. Yeah, but, but that's the thing. The but, game's over in six hours. But the problem is, it also, in, it also causes issues for story-wise, because... Even like we just said, she's like, well, you, I chose Betray because you chose Betray. It's like, wh what yeah, so the she, fuck does that even mean? But then because just, you didn't choose Betray first, you have no idea what the context for that situation is. Well, you, but you have well, to go I do was, it anyways. because it was really easy to figure out. Well, no, but you know what I'm saying. But you don't have context where you're like, why would she choose Betray? And then when she explains it, like, you betrayed me. It's like, the in another timeline? Like, what the yeah. fuck? I haven't been on that timeline. Why would you betray me? And it's like, oh, well, we have to go to that you're timeline now. Do it. Yeah. And then we have to go back to this timeline and be like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I just went to the other timeline. I just figured it out. Okay, let's move on. Like, I'm, my... I honestly don't have a problem with this. I do. I'm fine with this. It's a it's an okay time travel thing. Care if I'm fine. I'm a little more annoyed about Alice because I think Alice didn't. She, she changed her vote, but I don't think she said that she changed her vote. We we noticed that she changed her vote, but she didn't notice. Well, which yeah, more, which because, made it more confusing because somebody was over her shoulder going like, "Uh oh, how do we make this canonical?" Uh, 
<laughs> like Alice changing her vote was weird, whereas Phi changing her vote at least made sense to me because we've established that she can see the different timelines, and she's can specifically she? saying that that's why she changed her vote. Even she's even making it clear. Can she? Why do they do this? I don't know because it's really hard to tell whose wrist is attached. It's really annoying because you can't actually absorb information that fast. Yes. First of all, one of the only risks you can identify in a flash it's is just K's. K's. But they also go by so fast, and you're supposed to know whether they're solo or a pair, what color they are, what number they are, and whose wrist it is all in one, like, yeah. a fifth of a second. It doesn't really work. Which isn't, like, how it's it just a, it's a, I think it's just supposed to be a, a, just an establishing shot. Like, it's just a, a montage, and you're not supposed to actually pay attention to it. I guess a promise means a lot to you. I had nothing to say. She was right. I had broken a promise. Why did you do it? Nothing to say. I guess I misjudged you. Do we not know what this in this timeline? Like we have. I'm gonna be really annoyed if if Sigma doesn't mention that she did it as re that he did it as revenge for what she did. No, because he can't keep because you have to play this one first or else the the one we choose ally doesn't make sense. That's my point. Is that if you choose this one, if you it, that's one that's my complaint, Keith. Well, you, my your, complaint, but your is complaint that, was premature because we didn't know if it was gonna work or not. Okay. Well, now that it's not, my premature, point is that this if, is my if, complaint. My point is that it's a cool story element if both of them are stuck in a loop of betraying the other one yes. because the other one already betrayed them in the timeline they I, saw first. And I agree, but I knew that the cool game thing. wasn't written that well enough, so it's going to act like we yeah, made a mistake. Him, him being like, "Oh my god, I don't know why I did that." I'm like, "What? Why would you write that he doesn't know why he did that specifically?" Yeah. Like, especially since we've had conditional dialogue before, where he was like, wait, that's not what she did last time with Alice and stuff like that. Why is his dialogue not specifically reflecting that he knows what happened last time? Here's now? the issue. I think the problem with this game... Because otherwise, otherwise our vote is out of character for Sigma. Yes. And, we're, and, he, and, he, and he wouldn't do that. Yeah. So, like, it needs to be motivated by him having seen the other timeline. Here's, here's, my, here's my guess. I think the problem with this game, fundamentally is that there are no conditions in place to check what you have completed but minus bearing the very, very specific things that they lock you out of and give you to be continued. And also that one time with Alice, probably. Unless if unless if you do that one the first time, he's like, oh, that didn't happen last time with no context for us. I bet he would. Maybe. I guarantee you <laughs> It's he hard would. to know without playing the whole game again. And I'm... Um, and, but that's the thing, is like, if you don't... These, this is a type of game that is going to take a lot of effort to do right, and, and the way you would do it is kind of maybe didn't. And oh, I, I, I'm pretty sure Milkman <laughs> Keith Milkman go comedy. Milkman um, go comedy. The, have we ever have we ever de decoded that? I don't anagram? think. I think we did something with it, but I don't remember what it was. But the do you think um, it'll matter ever? No, unless it's the username and password of the two things in the walls. It's not. We, uh, we already found one of them, didn't we? And it wasn't. Yeah. It's okay. So here's the thing: is like you need conditions in place to change the dialogue that goes inside of the game. Yeah. But the problem is, there's like two things that are wrong with that. One, I, holy fuck, you you can't make a game so much, this big. So much game. To yeah, do like that you, for. you can't make a game where you can literally just go. I in, think in there. I think there may have been one or two instances we've seen of conditional dialogue show up that wasn't lock based, but it's it's definitely been so rare. Yeah. And it, it points to my previous thing of like my my prayer for this game was to have a character that already knew about morphogenic fields so that the time travel warping around would be an intentional thing we were doing on purpose and that would make it different from 999 as opposed to us doing it on accident and then falling into a solution at the end, which is Oops, what's Keith, happening so far. It's happening again. Yeah. It feels like such a retread of 999 because of the character not knowing about it. You know what's gonna and feel like so many elements being similar except just longer. You know it's gonna feel like more of a retread. When we go to the library again and read a Sheldrake novel, the the fucking third game, which takes place in between these two, which is Yay. gonna feel like the worst amount of retreading because you're like, oh yeah, you're setting up that. Wait a second, this is just nine nine. Wait a, this is just <laughs> Virtue's Last. Wait a, this Wait isn't a, a game. When you we, just when, when we play that in. maybe a year from now. We play this never, never. never. We'll s I want to, but I have, I'll have to wait like a year to condition you again to, to, to trick you into thinking it's a good idea again. <laughs> I had to wait between 99 and Zero Escape. I can do this whole fucking day. You know what? Let's just be honorable. What? Let's just, let's be honorable. What does honorable mean? Well, don't define honorable. I mean, like, what do you mean by what's to be honorable? Let's just do it. Let's just play the game like it was intended to be played. 
and Why? let's literally blindfolded. <laughs> uh, let's play the let's play the game uh, in the past. Oops, we didn't do it. I guess we're not playing it. Oh my god, this is a great joke. I thought you were better than this. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Got him. That was the best follow-up to any line of dialogue. Got him. <laughs> that was a great joke. I thought you were better than this. That was not a smart move, Sigma. I won't forget this. Uh, I'll make sure you pay. Even if it's the last thing I do. Elapsum yeah. simel occasionum. Okay, you're just annoying now. Jupiter reprehendere. Oh, man, do you read Harry Potter too? I love Harry Potter. <laughs> Avada Kedavra. Oh, man, my favorite is like Wingardium Leviosa. Do you know yeah. that one? I oh, think... man, Andrew, remember when we took the Pottermore test and found out our Patronuses? Yeah, what was yeah. Your Patronus? What was your Patronus fight? Man, I love Harry oh, Potter. Man, Are we going to. I don't remember my Patronus. Dude, let's talk about Harry Potter. Do you remember Potter. your Patronus? Yeah, mine remember. was a freaking nasty ass mole or something. <laughs> like that a... doesn't sound accurate. It was. It was like I don't a. I think there's a... mole. No, it was like a naked, naked mus... muck, 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 muskrat. A muskrat? That's yeah. not a mole, but I don't remember that being it. I don't remember what they were, though. I think mine was like a, some kind know. of... <laughs> All I know yeah. is that we were both Ravenclaws, and we're Ravenclawing the fuck out of this game, which is what, probably what people hate the series so much. <laughs> Look, I'm just saying, <laughs> if you're going to start speaking, like, Latin to me, you better know that How I'm... long has this been a character trait of hers? Uh, today. Has she not done it before? She has. She can. She's translated Latin. Okay. But... Because now she's like... But now she's like... But fuck, now... Yeah. Now she's pulling, like... <laughs> Raquires <laughs> in Apache, like fucking, like Ezio Auditori, like execution lines. Yeah, yeah. She's she's doing that thing like uh, high schoolers do when they uh, when they learn a language for the first time and they're like, I'm so cool, I know how to speak in a different tongue, and they just like start speaking in another language when they're mad or something, and the, they know the other person can't translate, so they're like, What did you say? And it makes you feel cool. But... What was that? It sounded like punch me in the face. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What's that? A Latin proverb. What does it mean? Not even Jupiter can find a lost opportunity. What? <laughs> Wait. What does that mean? <laughs> I need a, I need a double translation. You know what? I'm learning something important here Jupiter today, Keith. Jupiter is a Roman god. Actually, he's kind of the Roman god. He's in charge of all the others. Jupiter? 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 Wait, is that correct? What? What? Is Jupiter like... Huh. Is Jupiter the equivalent of like Zeus or something? I guess? Because wasn't it that all... It's all the Greek gods got turned into like planet names basically, right? For the Roman gods? Yes. And I don't know the Roman gods at all. Did they call Zeus Jupiter? Maybe. It's the big... It's the big planet. <laughs> the fuck <laughs> does that mean? Not even Jupiter, the ruler of the gods, can take back what's been done. All I know is that Ares is probably Mars. Wait, that's an actually inaccurate. Uh, the, like, I'm pretty sure that Zeus could take back. Yeah, he's Think. like, I had a baby and then I ate him. No, that Took was... Took back. <laughs> no, that wasn't, that wasn't Zeus that who was did Atlas, that. Atlas, right? No. Wait. It's hard to tell because there's like some of these gods have three versions. I think. I think. I think that was Jupiter who ate his children. Uh, Saturn devouring his son. Oh, Saturn is the name of the Saturn. Is the name of that painting. Saturn. The Titan. That, that was the, that painting? the Titan Saturn who didn't eat Zeus. And then Zeus was like, uh, L O J K, kill Titans. I was playing a game called Council where that painting showed up, and then there's like, Oh yes, I painted that. I'm like, I know who painted that. You fuck. <laughs> it's, <laughs> nice. it's not you. And also, it's not supposed to exist yet. <laughs> It doesn't exist for like another 20 years or something, if, oh my God, if I remember really? correctly. And people were like, oh, it's crazy timeline stuff. And like they were kind of excusing it away in the comments, I think, if I remember correctly. But later in the game, I found an alchemical table of symbols that had all of the new elements on it, but with dumb symbols on them instead. Like all the ones that you can only make in a super lab. Yeah. And also it had a URL in the corner <laughs> in a game that was taking place in like Washington times. That's pretty good. The Illuminati. They had the, and, 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 Illuminati had the internet? Yeah, they had that's, the internet. That's pretty cool. It was incredible. I, I think the most impressive thing is that like Saturn eating his son is definitely not a painting I would want to claim ownership of. It's not a happy painting. And also it it's was fucked up yeah, painting to and, look at. Yeah, it was it's like a painting that somebody made never intended to show anyone and then it, and then he died with it in his house. He died with it attached to his house as he painted it on the wall. In the kitchen. So I no, in the dining room. Yeah, right. 
Which was, is a worse place to eat food when yeah. there's a literal like, monster a really eating children. A really creepy eating painting. Like, I want yeah. to eat some soup by staring at this it's monster eating It's a good, it's a good painting, children. though. It's spooky. <laughs> you did something bad. You're not gonna get a chance to take it back. Actually, that's factually untrue, because guess what? I am time traveling Sigma! Oh my god, time traveler war. Oh, I want a game about that. Two time two time travelers just fighting each fighting it out across the flowchart. Like it's like man versus animation. <laughs> That'd be actually a really cool zero escape game. Yeah, maybe this, maybe they should have cool ideas. What instead. if you're trying to catch somebody who is jumping through timelines? And you gotta get ahead of them somehow? Yeah. Yeah. I turned away from Fi. I couldn't stand to look at her ugly Latin face anymore. In front of me were Kay and Clover. Their eyes poured into me with cold disapproval, and I looked away. They both chose an ally, as promised. The only person who betrayed anyone was me. I am actually mad that that Sigma doesn't remember the other timeline. That should absolutely be the reason why he did it. And they, it's like a, it's like a basically a plot hole that they didn't even fucking remember that. I'm just mad that they couldn't goddamn make Clover's animation. They couldn't even make a fun paradox. Like yeah. all they had to do was make this fun paradox where we both are the reason the other one betrays. Yes. And they didn't do it. Instead, they did something way more boring, which is we just do it for no reason. Then like, oh no, everyone's mad at me, and that's it. Yeah. Yay. The only person with nine BP was me. Oh, we have nine BP again. Yeah. That never ends well for us. Sure does. Little wonder I wasn't very popular. What do you intend to do? You aren't thinking about trying to open the number nine door, are you? <laughs> For a moment, I considered the unthinkable. Turning to Fi and going, Well, somebody else did, so I guess I will just too. Quote back the line like, back to her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From earlier in the other timeline. Just quote back the other Latin line, which is like, The show's over. Like, it's just like, rude. <laughs> like, that was my line. Yeah. Also, he calls it the unthinkable, but he does it in the other timeline. Well, he does it. He tried. Yeah. Could I break through them and reach the door? Yeah. Yeah. No, you can't. We've seen that happen. Once I was through, I'd be out of the game and free from their judgment. <laughs> free from their judgment. Wow, that is some serious judgment. But. <clears throat> no, I couldn't do that. How could I possibly justify leaving them all behind so I could escape on my own? Why had I chosen Betray? In my memory, it seemed like an almost flippant choice, as if I'd just been curious to see what would happen. If betrayal was what I wanted, I should have made that choice with commitment. Why are- they're still reinforcing how dumb the choice is. Yeah. Like, it's almost as if we had motivation that he should know, because we're playing as him, and it's like really infuriating we're not on the same page, but like, it's- Ah, the paradox is so much cooler than what they did. There's- it's- this is just boring. But there I was, and I couldn't turn back. Even if I didn't try to open the number nine door, they would all be suspicious of anything I did. Trust is easy to break and hard to repair. Actually, it's not they true. They say that a lot in this game. Yeah, because like they- a lot, I, a lot. I think the- I think the creator of this must have, like, had his trust broken at some point. <laughs> Probably by his wife. He's just worried about how many paths we might play, so we wanted to sprinkle it out throughout there and get- so we find it his cool line somewhere. Yeah. Unless I could somehow turn back the clock, I was stuck with the consequence of my actions. Oh, wait. Why do we- Yes, we were there 30 seconds ago when he said that. How could I do something that was beyond the reach of a god? Why hadn't I just chosen an ally? What would be happening to me right now? Jesus Christ. Uh, Not only is this the, maybe the biggest missed opportunity of the entire game that's an individual event, but also they're just fucking repeating the shit out of how dumb this event is almost just to let me wallow in it. What if? What if? What if? Then Fi spoke, and I blinked. Were you not Sigma, blinking before? We're just doing this to be safe. We what? can't let you run around with 9 BP. I'm afraid you're going to have to sleep for a little while. Okay? What? Huh? I started to turn around, but it was already too late. I felt a heavy hand slam into the back of my neck. What? Did Kay just agree to knock me out? And then everything went dark. Game over. What a piece of shit. Is that a skull on the map? Did we die? You know what it might- what, ha what happened to us when we were unconscious? Did they just like leave us out of a room? And then yeah. like, they just didn't drag us to the next room I, I so we, we died? Yeah. What the fuck? You know what's really odd? 
Everyone's a piece of shit in this game. I don't How? like anybody. Yeah, why is it that... No, Luna's great. <laughs> Luna didn't do anything. Why is it that every time... Oh my god, it is. Oh, we can do the yeah. next room now. You know what? Yeah, we unlocked the paradox, apparently. The thing I fucking hate, I swear, is that I am so goddamn tired of every time someone else gets the goddamn nine door, we're like... I guess we can't stop them. Nothing we can do. I guess do. we'll just let them escape now, but then oh, we all... Oh, well. But we, but we never escape, except, the, except the one time where we chased after Dio. No, was it was the because one? we... Three people had the nine, had nine, so yeah. we were allowed to go with them. Right. But, like, anytime it's by ourselves, everybody's like, oh, we can just but kill Sigma. But we never Sigma. stop a single other character in the game. But We only stop the giant muscled man from escaping. Everyone else that's really way easier to stop never gets stopped. Oh, well. Let's find out what this other the other version is now. How do we stop Phi? He's gonna quote it at her. Oh my god. He's gonna quote He's gonna quote the Latin at her with his photographic memory. I'm gonna be so mad, that's so dumb. Are you sure that was okay? Skip, skip. I did. It took me here. Yeah, of course. Phi did too. You sound pretty sure of yourself. Oh, it's not confidence. I already know. What? 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 Wait, did we change what she did? Yeah. Oh, uh, let's just go have a look, shall we? What's gonna happen? We'll know pretty quickly whether I knew anything or not. Okay, let's go. What? The what? fuck? I guess this is the Fi ending. Because there's a lot of Fi here. <laughs> there's a whole lot of Fi. Results from round two. Please. Blah, 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 It's satisfying to skip that stuff. Show me the, show me the monies. Is she gonna pick ally? Show me the monies. Oh no. Is it gonna change? Oh no. Oh no. Super didn't change. Didn't change. Wait, so this time he did remember the other timeline? Yes. Points have been. Can we skip now? No, because we're going to have to- so gonna go down, I Alright. Oh, yeah. What the hell, Fi? Why did you choose Betray? You chose Ally before. I see. So you remember it too. The... Other round two. What? That wasn't even close to the response I'd expected. It felt anticlimactic. Hey, hold on a minute here. You... you know? You remember how I chose Betray last time in round two? Yeah, of course. Why do you think I chose Betray this time? Don't you remember what I said? That I'd make you pay? Yeah, I do remember that. Then this is you making me pay. So canonically, the only way forward, instead of a cool paradox, is we had to act completely out of, completely out of character to, direct, to spike a completely different response. That wasn't even really important in itself, because all we have to do is just remember the other timeline. Which isn't even really important. Like, our responses aren't even important to that idea. Yeah, yeah. All we had to do was experience a situation with Fi twice. Yeah. And the voting, like, the, the betray doesn't even seem to matter? Yeah. Yes. She said it there. Yes. Yes. Wait. Wait. No, 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 no. That didn't make any sense. Something wasn't right. How could we both know about an earlier round two? How could there have been an earlier round two? Was it some sort of alternate history? <laughs> Tune in next time on Dragon Ball Z. What the hell was I thinking? That was conspiracy theory shit. Even if there was some sort of alternate timeline or universe or whatever, there was no way I could know what happened in it. Here we are in what very well may be our 150th episode of the Zero Escape franchise, where we're seeing somebody discover morphogenic fields again. Hey, uh, wake me up! My name is Andrew, and I've been playing Zero Escape for 500 years, and I still don't get it. I don't understand. Is it so hard to grasp the concept of morphogenic fields? Somebody write this shit down already. You would think that somebody would remember this shit. It happens every fucking ten years. <laughs> like, for God's sakes, it's the same people. Clover hasn't even talked about morphogenic fields, and she's the fucking asshole who's part of the old game. That's her third time. Third time's a fucking term. Yay. Same with Santa, it's his third time too, goddammit! Yay! But Santa ran the second one! Yay! Oh my god! I don't think anybody's gonna wake up! 
We're all gonna die down here in morphogenic hell, looping constantly back and forth, never knowing if anybody will actually re fucking remember the shit. It's insanely insulting, and I get upset every time I think about the idea that this writer had the chance to be a good writer, and he didn't. He slapped it away. He chose the wrong timeline. You fuck! That's what you get! <laughs> he chose the wrong timeline. You picked the wrong one, you asshole! <sighs> Can't wait till the fu- I, I, I'm glad there's someone out there who gets to live the good timeline where he writes a good story. I wish I had morphogenetic fields and could remember that one. Because I bet it was fun. I bet we had a good time, Keith. And we laughed, and we actually were like- You think there's like, a timeline where he was a better writer? I mean, based on his logic, there is! I don't think that's how that works. Which means, hey buddy, this isn't the right one, which means you die at the end somehow! <laughs> I mean, always. Always! Even if there was some sort of alternate timeline universe or whatever, there's no way I can know what happened in it. No way could I know. At least I didn't think there was any way I could know. But if I could, then how? I remember Fly choosing ally, then scowling at me, and I broke my promise and swearing revenge. And I won't. I'll make sure. Why did I know that? Perhaps more importantly, why did Fly remember that? What in the hell did any of this mean? It had happened before, hadn't it? During round one of the AB game when I was playing against Alice, I'd seen something. Fine, I'd chosen Betray, but for some reason I'd seen a reality where she would be chosen ally instead. Suddenly I realized I wasn't alone. I looked up to see Luna, Clover, and Kay. They all began to speak at once. What happened? Why did you choose Betray, Fi? Yeah, you're the only one who didn't vote ally. Yeah, what a bitch. Get her. Fi looked away and scowled. Quick, chop her in the neck. <laughs> for several long moments, her eyes stared off into the distance, waiting for being chopped in the neck. Why are we the only person that's okay to hit? <laughs> why am? Why are we the only person that's okay to just deny access to the nine door? <laughs> Everyone acts like it's their right. They earn the fucking thing. But then when it's Sigma's turn, oh no, we can't let Sigma leave. He didn't earn that. Remember Clover? Remember Clover doing it like just three times? Away. Which yeah. is like, well, I have Tenny nine OG and I'm not going to stay here. K oh. escaped. Dio escaped. And what was everyone's excuse? Oh, good help, they guys. Just they just watched. Oh, good help. Sigma's like, I'm not going to stay here with the murderer. Are you crazy? Yeah. And then, <laughs> meanwhile, Sigma's like, uh, I'm the one who's literally solved every puzzle in this entire fucking game. Die. I, I think I might be able to get help because I'm probably the only capable human karate chop in the neck. Okay, never mind. I guess I won't leave. That uh, wasn't very nice. Uh, for several long moments, her eyes stared up. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. <laughs> well, we read this before. <laughs> I don't think you did. We did. Finally, she sighed and spoke, and then she said the Latin right. thing over her. Well, I've got nine points now. So sorry, but I'm out of here. It's not nice. Huh? What do you mean? Do I really have to explain it? Actually, could you explain? Oh, we are skipping through. Yeah. Wow! I felt myself speaking before I even knew what the words were. Wingardia Leviosa, bitch! And then we pushed her down. <laughs> Jupiter. Yeah. Good luck. Epazum <laughs> or Elapazum Simil Okalakalach non ipech Potos Lubech or Ribrahamsenderech non ipse potest lupeter reprehendere. Reprehendere. Not even Jupiter can find a lost opportunity. Are you sure this is how you want it in? What about the nonary game? Zero, the bums. We still don't know uh, the truth about any of it. If you leave now, we never will. Is that really what you want? Jesus Christ. Fine. Man, that was so many I, I really want to see the script for this game because it <laughs> probably has whole, so that many. That was a whole page of ellipses. Like an entire Microsoft Word do document think, page of ellipses. Do you think there is the entire script for nine, nine uh, for like uh, Virtue's Last Award like on, on the a internet? wiki somewhere? Yeah, like That'd on a, a wiki. a huge text document. Uh, script VLR. 
I would like to see. Are you looking it up right now? Uh, I mean, don't. Let's see. Let's keep going. Uh, oh, that's her. I'm waiting for my turn. I'm looking up shit while I wait. If I slowly look, I let go of the lever. Phew. Look, I'm uh, sorry about betraying you. I'm honestly not sure why I did it. Forget about it. This time you chose ally and I chose betray. I think we're even. Uh, what are you talking about? When did you betray her? Are you talking about round one? Mm, no. We don't talk about round one. Just we're. Drop it. There's no point. Okay. Glad they'd understand even if you did tell them. Yeah. You're right. Huh? Hmm? Hmm? I don't get it. Really clever. Well, at least it seems Fi has decided to remain. You've really changed your mind? Yeah. I'll stick around a little longer. Like he said, I can't leave until we figured out what's going on. The AB game will continue until someone opens the number 9 door. If someone reaches 9 BP and doesn't open the door, the game will keep going. Oh man, that's a relief. Please don't scare us like that again. Yeah, uh, although unfortunately we can't have you walking around, it's too dangerous. Karate <laughs> chop! Karate chop! <laughs> that's what I want to see. The Ambidex get round three. Starkey, there is the Ab as many times as we want, huh? Then that means... As long as you have the star keys, you can play the AB game as many times as you want. What great information to get right after you're about to open the door. <laughs> like, this would maybe change your decision if you knew there were infinite rounds. Almost like you should explain the game before the game starts. Ah. You probably won't be allowed to play it continuously, however. What? There's a period of time between when the doors open and when the polling ends. Excuse oh no, we have to wait an hour or whatevs. How did you how did you the last two rounds? I think it's about 45 minutes long. Okay. So you can repeat the game every one once every 45 minutes or so. Oh, that's right. What? Did Hero Jr. say something about that? Oh, yeah. What are your bracelets, guys? Looks like I'm a red solo. I'm a magenta pair. Okay. Me too. Uh, that means we'll be a team this time. Uh, I will do great. I don't. No. <laughs> yeah. No. Don't go it's near her. My partner, then. I mean, most importantly, we're not going to be paired with them anyway. Because we have to do the opposite color of, magenta, of red. No, but I want to be with Luna. Is that green? Oh no, we're we're doing RGB, aren't we? Yeah. That throws me off. I'm used to pigment, so I'm like, oh yeah, the opposite of red, green. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck, it doesn't work anymore, because now green's a primary color. I'm a cyan pear. They do not appear to be here. I, for instance, am a yellow pear. Huh? Wait a second. If Luna and Clover are a magenta pair, if I a cyan pair and Kay's a yellow pair, who the hell am I supposed to partner up with? The cyan pair, I imagine. Fi and her mysterious partner. Dio? <laughs> How do you figure that? Sigma, what colors are added together to create cyan? Uh, green and blue, right? What color would you get by adding your red to that? Red, green, and blue would be white. Exactly. So you're saying the next set of chromatic doors are going to be white? Yes. How do you know? Did no one look? That's weird, right? Yeah. This, it was well, the, the gates were open. Remember the the we rushed back because the A B gates were open. Yeah, but uh, it's just weird to me because normally when you beat round two, it opens into the warehouse too. Yeah. So you think you would just see the door at all? It's right, it's just there. Nope, we ignored it. Because I have seen them. Oh. After leaving the archives, we found a warehouse very similar to this one. In it was a set of white doors. Well, to be precise, a set of doors which radiated white light. You're drawing a path? Or are we actually walking right now? Drawing a path. What? For, 
from where though? We're not. It didn't yeah, start where we are. No, it's showing where they left from. Oh, right. After we were finished in the garden, we went to the same warehouse he's talking about. What? Are you serious? So it's just us that's the dumb. <laughs> well, I again. I'm glad we're watching this. I mean, again, we rushed because the AB gates were open, and we didn't we didn't exit out that way. They took the long way to exit. Yeah. Just what about keep living alive. Back in the infirmary? Do they know about the white doors? Yes. If we exclude Quark from their number, then I believe they do. I wonder what colors they are. So Sigma and Fire both remembering other timelines, but neither of them remember the cure or the cure multiplier. Great. GG. As far no, as well, no. Go. Sigma has to remember the cure multiplier. They don't now, though. Well, no, because he's an idiot. He has to wait yeah. for it to trigger. Yeah, so but... he has to just make it happen. Yeah, but he has to Seeing know it. them sick and dying wasn't the trigger, apparently. No, but because <clears throat> the problem here is that, like, the real timeline has to have it where everyone's healthy and gets out. Probably. Except for Dio. <laughs> you think Dio's the nine this time? I think we just leave Dio behind with his bombs. Fuck you, Dio. And then we're like, eh, Dio, uh, you better uh, learn to defuse him. I don't know. We saved Ace. I don't know. For I'm, some reason. I mean, I'm just kidding. It doesn't matter because we're on the moon. But uh, <laughs> none of us are real anyway. We're all clones. Whoa! None of this matters. Actually, it doesn't work. What thing. they did is they made 500 space stations and put on all of them a, the same copy of clones over and over again because they're trying to group. They're, they're trying to mass test the morphogenic fields, and one of them's got to get it right. <laughs> or, you know, we could all just be Cogni robots. We're missing a cyan and a yellow. If Sigma's a red solo, then we should have a green solo and a blue solo back in the infirmary. Oh god, we have to carry... We have to carry Alice and... Uh... What's Oh this? no, the light person we've already carried before and a child. How will we get them to the well, next Well, I'm just room? saying, that's annoying. We have to carry two people now? Yep. <sighs> well, I'm going back to the infirmary. I'm kind of worried about Alice and Quark. They're I'll both dead. Too. Tio killed everyone. Oh, that's right, sick people. Wait, guys. There's something I need to tell you. Huh? Do you just remember? What is it? Go on. I meant to say something earlier, but I guess there was just so many, so much other stuff going on. I looked at Fi. She nodded back. See, the truth is. Another bomb? Oh, that's what we remember. Oh. Yeah. Where? In the garden. No, that's not possible. We didn't see anything like that. Could you have missed it? No. No way. We checked every part of that room. Hmm. There was a number on this one, too. It said zero one. Since we were the, uh, since the one we found in the crew quarters hit zero three on it, well. Uh... I think there might be a third bomb out there somewhere. <sighs> I think there's a good chance. Actually, there's four. We also remember that because we're Sigma and we've been through that timeline. But J.K. They just don't. They pick and choose, man. We should split up and find this other bomb. What? It could be anywhere. Uh, how much time do we have? Yeah, I agree. We, well, we just voted, so we have, like, over an hour, usually. Like, it's, it's like, in eight, it's like 75 minutes or something. It's, it's a long-ass wait before, between voting and opening the door. Yeah, but how long does it take after all the time we've just taken? We've had a conversation so far, so probably, we probably have about no, 30 seconds we left. No, got the result, Fi jumped over us, we persuaded her to not open the nine door. Yeah. Then we had a conversation. That's why I said we have 30 seconds left. <laughs> Oh, I didn't hear We're you. Making fun of them. I thought you said 30 minutes. No. I mean, we probably have 30 minutes left. No, we, we probably have like an hour left. Yeah, I agree. But even if we do find it, what are we supposed to do? That is a concern for later. At the moment, our primary concern should be finding it. You can't fight an enemy you can't see, after all. Yeah, if you guys uh, happen to find it, let me know. I have a Blackberry now that I can type <laughs> on. Yeah, that, that detail. Is this like another... Key? The infirmary and let everybody else know. 
Well, I mean, this one, this pass has to have a bunch of keys in it because it's going to require us to no, unlock no. each I'm, password. No, no, I'm saying the K key for his helmet where we just forget we have a device for the oh, entire game. We're going to forget that we have the PDA that, yeah. that saves us. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to remember them. This, this, ha this has to be the timeline where we defuse the bombs. That's what they're setting up. No. Otherwise, it'd be just bizarre because we'll never find that PDA again in any other timeline because it's locked in a specific lo uh, safe. Please. How about we set a time to meet back here just in case? Why here? Why not the white room, which is the place that you actually have to go to not Yeah, die? let's do that. People, we should stop be... planning bad locations. Well, no, because the infirmary is down here, so we have to be near the infirmary because some idiot's going to stay behind. And yeah, go. so choose the infirmary or the white door room, not here. This, this place is nonsensical. It's yeah. not, not any of our goals. The time we have left until the chromatic doors open is... Let's see... Whoa! Two hours! What the fuck? Quite a bit, actually. <laughs> it's never been that long before, right? I don't think so. One hour and 57 minutes. Why? Why? I think approximately half of that should be enough. When we have one hour remaining, we should meet back at the infirmary. Acceptable? Okay, see, that's smarter. That sounds good Infirmary. Right. I'll tell the others, too. Good. Oh, let's go! Let's see you! Ike! If this guy wants the bombs to be hidden, he should, like, actually do a good job hiding them. Yeah, don't put it on a tree, you stupid. There's really easy hiding spots in this game that he doesn't use. At least put it inside a drawer or something. God damn, he puts them in the open. Unless they're not supposed to be a secret, but he seems to think they're supposed to be a secret, so he might just be stupid. I mean, he is stupid. He's Dio. Yeah, he's Dio. He's the dominantest. He thought people would believe he's a damn ringleader. <laughs> he thought, yeah, he's like, I'm a circus performer. I'm like, all right. All right, show me a trick. <laughs> also, in the future? Yeah, future ringleader. What do you do, like, tricks? Turns out he was just the ringleader of all the tricks. <laughs> huh. <laughs> okay. Has it been an hour already? No, we're beginning the search. Oh. We're, in, we're in the other warehouse now. That's poop. God, pay attention. I'm, I can't. So these are the white doors that Kane and Clover were talking about. I was hoping they have a little bit more color in them. 